All right, watchers, welcome back to the new world. Uh, we are here uh, in, in the land we've dubbed Minecraft to uh, explore it and colonize it for the greater glory of France, because that's just how we roll. Now, uh, now that we've got a, a colony, we are going to uh, need to appoint a member to the Continental Congress. This is important because they are all based on historical figures to uh, varying degrees and they have in-game advantages associated with them. So we want to look at them all and weigh them accordingly and make sure that they're going to be in tune with our goals. So we're going to uh, look at these guys one by one, kind of dig into it a little bit. Peter Stuyvesant, the first successful governor of the Dutch colony of New Amsterdam. You know it today as New York City. He ruled harshly and promoted increased trade and increased protection of New World interests. So he got the, uh, the king to come out and put some firepower behind what he was looking for. Now, uh, if we get him in the Congress, Peter Stuyvesant allows construction of the Custom House in your colonies, which can streamline trade with Europe and allows European trade during the Revolution. We will get into the Revolution much later, but suffice to say, I'm uh, not that worried about it. Let's take a look at uh, Hernando de Soto. Ruthless Spanish conquistador who led the first European expedition into the southeastern areas of North America. He landed in Florida and explored much of Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. With DeSoto in the Congress, results of exploring Lost City rumors, they're those little uh, ruin symbols that we were hopping on earlier. They, uh, think if you've ever played Civ before, they're like goody huts. And all units, oh, those are, they're always positive. There's no blanks or uh, negative results and all units have extended sighting radius. It's kind of cool. Uh, Francis Drake. England's greatest seaman of the Elizabethan period, Drake was a formidable privateer who terrorized the Spanish main with a fleet of 15 ships, then rescued a floundering English colony. When Drake joins the Congress, the combat strengths of all your privateers are increased by 50%. Interesting. Not really digging too many of these. Powhatan, Indian princess who mediated tensions between the English colony at Jamestown and the Powhatan Confederacy of Virginia. Pocahontas married John Rolfe, an Englishman from Jamestown, which led to a period of peace between the Indians and the English. When she joins the Congress, all tension levels between you and the natives are reduced to content, and the Indian, all Indian alarm is generated half as fast. A little early in the game for all of that. Juan Sepulveda. Sepulveda? Sepulveda. Spanish philosopher and humanist who argued for harsh treatment of the natives. Pretty sure this is not going to be what I want to do. But uh, he based his reasoning on the proposition that natives were incapable of ruling themselves because of their savagery. This was proved by their inability to resist Spanish invasion. His presence in the Congress increases the chance that subjugated Indians will convert and join a colony. Not really in tune with what we're looking for now, is it, Watchers? Okay, uh, out of all of these, I think uh, Mr. DeSoto wins the prize. Alright. Now, after all that craziness, we, uh, we're actually going to get on to playing now. Alright, watchers. So, uh, I mean, what's, what's playing a historical game all about if you're not going to learn a little history along the way, am I right? Uh, let's save the game. 
because uh, this is from 1995. Let me remind you one more time. It will not autosave the way you are used to it autosaving. So we are going to have to make sure we're on that. Ooh, beaver pelt. All right, let's throw a random road out here. Because why not? Ooh, six cotton. Well, oh, that's spiffy. Beaver. Yes, yes, yes. Like I said, he runs out of tools. So now he's just a regular old colonist. What are you gonna do? Oh, there's the Spanish. Alright, watcher. So, uh. We could do a couple of things here. We could make. cigars. We could make coats. Or, uh, grow some cotton, maybe? Um, let's do coats. I think coats uh, trading pretty well right now. Ooh, religious unrest in France causes increased emigration. Colonists, indentured servants, now available in La Rochelle. Well, that's cool. That'll, uh, put them to work in the fields, maybe. That's fun. Because uh, I don't know if anyone remembers from history class, or if you haven't had the opportunity. Um, indentured servants had a habit of... I'm not sure what the word is. Um, they, they were broke. They wanted to leave the old world. Oh, goodness. Report the Iroquois massacre English colonists at Jamestown. Why can't they get along? I don't have these problems here. Price of coats down to 11. I was just talking about those, wasn't I? We're making some. Sell some nice fur coats. Anyway, indentured servants, they want to get out of the old country, but they can't afford it. So they turn to someone like me and they say, hey, pay my way over there and I'm going to work for you till the debt's paid off. They're not very skilled. They're the second lowest level of colonist here. Um, oh my goodness. The Iroquois burned the English colony at Jamestown. That's uh, it's not good, watchers. Not good at all. You gotta get along with your neighbors, I'm telling you. Coats are down again? Maybe we don't want to work on coats. Goodness to the gracious. Alright. This indentured servant. He, uh... What exactly he gonna do with his life? I think we're gonna have him come here and, yes, make some food. And then we can get one more guy down here, one more colonist, because there's two extra food. And maybe have them make some cigars. That'd be fun. Alright, that's uh, it's going well so far, watchers, then. Uh, we're definitely clicking along, firing on all cylinders, so to speak. I like it, I like it. Oh my goodness. The Cherokee tribe is pleased to see the progress of our neighbors at Quebec. We have come to offer you 13 ore in recognition of the everlasting peace between our people. Well, isn't that lovely? Price of sugar is rising. Price of cloth is rising. It's very... Oh, 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 oh. Colonists are of master weavers are available in uh, La Rochelle. I love it. Let's go ahead and go pick them up. Cloth is falling. Cause I'm thinking, watchers, we need to get uh, a colony down here. Maybe right there. 
Cherokee land, but we might be able to uh, use it without too much of an incident. Because uh, they are interested in, in keeping the peace just as much as we are. Rum is up. Interesting. But uh, until we get multiple colonies going, it's going to be a little bit of a slow going here. I'm going to have to just kind of chill out, just make things happen one step at a time. Taxes already. Conquistador JD Max 020. In honor of our recent wedding to our second wife, we have graciously decided to raise your tax rate by 1%. The tax rate is now 1%. You may, if you wish, kiss our royal pinky ring. Goodness gracious. All right, watchers, we got two options at this point. We can either uh, say thank you, sire, and kiss the pinky ring, or we can dump all the food in Quebec into the Quebec Harbor, thus holding the Quebec Holt food party. And uh, that means we wouldn't be able to buy or sell food in Europe, and it would irritate the king, and we're, we're, we're too small, and it's really a tiny increase. We'll, we'll go with it. We are not in a position to uh, start disobeying the king at this point. Although that does, uh, that will eventually be how this pans out. I'm not going to lie to you, watchers. All right, so uh, this fella is going to go to the tobacconist shop. He's going to turn this tobacco into cigars. Little ways to go. I'm going to take the excess tobacco and our excess fur, and we're going to go sell it in Europe. See if we can't kickstart a few things. This money's important, watchers. It's very complicated the trading aspect of this game. I like it. It's uh, all 13 more ore, celebrating the uh, peace between our peoples. I like it. Very friendly, these Cherokee folks. Oh, goody. Expert lumberjacks. Oh, see, it's a big deal bringing our first cargo into the new world. We're going to tell them to... Uh, Unload all cargo. Fantastic. Now we have 416. Let's see if we can recruit anybody. Ooh, hardy pioneers, because they come with their own tools. That's a bargain. Let's, uh... Let's go see if we can't make ourselves a second colony. The price of coats keeps falling, so my guess is somebody else, one of the other European colonists, they are, as we say, they're out there running around selling fur coats even faster than we are. Which is annoying. Make landfall. Oh goodness watchers, we don't want to go there. Um, right outside their their village. That's a little too close. I am not okay with that. I doubt they would be okay with that. Because, uh... Yeah, we're not going to do that. Maybe right here? What the heck is that? Oh, the Arawak. The Ar Arawak tribe welcomes you. We are a glorious nation of three villages. To celebrate our friendship, we generously offer you the land you now occupy as a gift. Will you accept our treaty and live with us in peace as brothers? Don't mind if I do. 
And they would like us to also smoke a peace pipe to celebrate our perpetual friendship. And they also want to visit us to visit them soon. Aren't they just lovely neighbors? What is this right here? Tundra. Hmm. Interesting. I think we need that for the mountain, however. So we're going to stay put. Montreal. I don't think we want you there. We want you making some food. We need to get a soldier in here soon. Perhaps with the uh, cash crop that we're generating. Oh, good. Hey, cotton. Aren't they friendly? Three colonists will turn them into uh, into soldiers. Almost a full package of coats. That's good. That's good. Plow here. Oh, 13 furs. Why, thank you. Cigars has fallen. Coats is rising now. That's good because I have a full uh, full cargo of coats to bring up soon. Oop. Hernando de Soto has joined the Continental Congress. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, we read about this. Good exploring. All right, watchers. On that note, I think it is time to uh, bid you adieu for a, another week. Au revoir, as we might say in uh, the old country. So, uh, if you're still interested in what's happening, please feel free and give us a like on the video. If you haven't yet, uh, subscribe to the channel so you'll know when the next one comes out exactly. Check out some of the other videos. Otherwise, uh, we will see you next week to check out this brave new world. This episode made possible by Open Broadcaster Software, Sid Meier and Microprose, Windows Movie Maker, Windows Expressions Encoder, and by watchers like you. Guess I can show you, with no running water, the fewer common surfaces that we touch, like doorknobs, just the better it is for everybody's health. Oh no! 